Hey crew, Coach Rod here. I'm making a little uh, video of what we did this past week, Monday and Wednesday. That would be the 21st and 23rd of February. And I know on Wednesday I told you what the quiz, quiz will be on the 28th, Monday the 28th, but I'll get there. So here's our little review. I just want to say... Remember on Monday, we had a nice discussion about pet toads and then greyhounds, how there's less and less racing in less and less states. They make a great pet if you adopt one, a retired racer. <clears throat> uh, you should consider it because they are very gentle. And we had a talk, a nice talk about the genetics of behavior. Think of it. You can change behavior of an animal over generations by selecting for gentle animals. Somebody made the great point, how would you ever race a greyhound if it was very, you know, bitey or whatever, very mean? It's over by, over generations, by default, people have selected very docile greyhounds. And then... On Wednesday, we had two presentations, two, two, you know, two student presentations. One on house fires, which was kind of a timely thing. <clears throat> the student had experienced a fire and what you should do and maybe have uh, leashes nearby. And so we had a nice discussion about that. And then I mentioned the house fire that had occurred about 30 miles away from Purdue in Monticello, where a mother and her daughter, I can't really say young, I guess young daughter, she was in, I think, a junior in high school, they both perished in this fire, and I'm like trying to scratch my head, um, were the smoke detectors not working, was there so much smoke you become unorientated, and then here's the other thing, I know for a fact now, because there are reports of this, house fires in current houses spread faster than they did 30 years ago. And I mean, the, the number of minutes is quite uh, crazy. I think the one thing I saw, what, 30 years ago, you had 15 minutes to get out of a house fire because there was all natural uh, wood and so forth, and rooms were smaller, so a fire had to brew, uh, burn through one wall to get to another room, Whereas nowadays we have bigger rooms, more synthetic fabric, curtains, carpet, couches, so forth, and they're just more flammable. And then the other discussion was on spay and neutering pets. <clears throat> we know there's an overpopulation. Um, pets live longer if they're spayed and neutered, the student had said. And so we had a great discussion of all those topics last week. So then, yeah, I just want to rephrase or remind you that the quiz on Monday, the 28th, uh, half of the quiz will be on what we talk that day, talk about, or reiterate that day, review that day, whatever. And then the other half will be on neural, and I did tell you this last Wednesday, and the neural stuff is, you know, on our reading list from last week, and there are three reading links and videos. Of course, you might say that's a lot of material, but remember, Fridays, you we don't meet face-to-face, -face, so you can have time on any of this online stuff. <clears throat> and I know I've said it before that for every hour you're in class, you should study two hours outside of class. So Monday we're in class one hour. That means two hours outside of class sometime. Wednesday one in, two out. And then on the Friday, you can think of it as one in and two out. So there's a lot of hours there that you can, that I'm providing you or telling you that you should do for these quizzes. Try to pick up main points on the neural system. So there's three reading links. These are videos. 
you know, if you don't know how to study this material, look for statements of fact that you can write down. Okay. And finally, I've finally gotten through all the pictures for our contest, best photo of snow, fun, pets, whatever. And uh, remember, that was the snowstorm, a couple snowstorms a, a while back. I think when we had, was it 12 inches or 13 around here? Anyway, so I had, I, my other class too did it, so I had a lot of pictures to look at. But the winner of the Pandora $25 gift card is Kira Fisher. Hopefully I'm saying Kira right. We'll make sure in class I get schooled on that. <clears throat> and here's Kira's picture. There were many fine pictures. I know Kira sent in a, two, three pictures. I said, you're fine. doesn't matter how many you send in. And then... Um, Oh, there were pictures of pets, of course, pictures of uh, somebody, I think in this class did snow angels. It was either this class or the other one, but this is Kira looking like she's having fun in the snow. Look at this. So she won the first prize. Thank you. See you Monday.